after traveling for what felt like 10 years, we arrived at our honeymoon late last night. Alex is in the bathroom brushing his teeth. And we are up, 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 up in the tea plantations of Candy. I will link all the places that we stay in the description boxes and the travel company Lux Tripper who we booked the whole trip through and organised all this for you because I wouldn't have even known where to start. We've even got included a driver who is bringing us from place to place as we go. I'll just show you quickly through our room. It's really messy. I wish I'd shown you last night when we came in because it was like so pretty and nicely done out and now it's full of all our crap because our bags have exploded. Through the front door We've got window in the window. This is like the lounge area because this is a suite. So we go through here. And then we've got this awesome four poster bed with all the protection from the insects for the night. Little veranda out here. Through here, we got Lex in. There's a shower. There's like a big wardrobe in here and my bag has just exploded. When we arrived at the airport last night, they gave us these like little fresh flower necklace things. But they're kind of dying now. And it's going to out for the day. Breakfast now and then we are doing a tour of the tea plantation. And then tomorrow I think we're going to do a cookery class. Because we want to teach Lex how to make a Sri Lankan curry. And then he'll be actually able to make me a meal. I'm going to learn how to make it too so I can supervise. Yum. And my Wellingtons. It's the doggies! Hi! Thirty kilos on their heads. So me and the dog are staying safely while Lex is after climbing up on that slippery rock. I know, but I don't want it, it's too scary. We've only walked about two thousand steps, but it's up. The women here are picking and like they're all over fifty. They're out here, rain, hating or shine, get up at about half seven and they do about six hours work with like half hour breaks and then they do it all on their bare feet. And the younger generation obviously want to go to the cities and get educated so they find it hard to find new pickers and young pickers. Down a million steps to get to this waterfall and then um, still walking. We have to walk back up a million steps which is going to be fun for my bum. And this is just beside the hotel that we're staying in. Cool. Back in the room after walking up what felt like about 10 million steps. Ugh. Look how sweaty I am. There's no way I'm going down to see that waterfall again. Like it was pretty, but. X and I are super sleepy, but we're gonna do a cookery lesson and it's gonna wake us up. Unroast a curry powder, chili powder, and roast a curry powder, and chili flakes, the, the coriander seed, and cumin seed, and coconut milk powder, and the fennel seed, salt, black pepper, and turmeric powder, fenugreek, and the tamarind, the mustard seed. <laughs> I wonder how they shred coconut. Yeah, we'll taste coconut. It's a slack off having some cake. We just cooked all this cake, we don't know. We've got brought tea and cake. No, you, you definitely shouldn't, but I, I can. This is all for me. I think Reggie did a great job of guiding Lex. Sous, sous chef, sous chef, it's good sous chef. We're going to enjoy this. I had a, a nice like two hour nap, so I'm still a bit sleepy. We're going to enjoy our food and then probably go back to bed. We get over the jet lag by tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. 
we have arrived at part two of our honeymoon here in Sri Lanka and I'm standing on the veranda of our luxury tent. This is my view right out in the wilderness. You can see there's a lake down there. And this is the veranda. And there we have Alex. As you can see, we've got like full electricity, air conditioning, decent Wi-Fi. You can hear it's kind of thundery out. And then we go in through here. We've got an ensuite bathroom with full hot cold water. In through here, got a sink. Bag feels pretty comfy. It's like a memory foam mattress. And then that's my glass of wine. We saw some monkeys, some little ones and some big ones. Do you know the names of them? That uh, one's called Lainey. So we're going on safari at five o'clock tomorrow morning. So we only have two nights here. So we have tonight and tomorrow night. And then we go further down Sri Lanka, down to Tangali, I think that's how it's pronounced. And it's down in the south part of Sri Lanka. And we're gonna have our beach break then. So this is kind of our bit of bit of rough in a luxury tent. Where were you on the night of the 25th? Stop the light. I mean, we have that light in case we hear any animals during the night. We're allowed to use the flashlight to go out and look at them, but there's no way I'm flashing the light at some random animal. Are you? Yeah. You have to. You have to holster. You aim. Little finger, just here, and cheetah. And um, as you can tell, Lex is super annoying when he's anywhere. First meal in the Kulu safari. And we're here outside, 5 in the morning, 5.30, and just up, and we're going to go on Little Safari. Lex is outside, he's having a coffee, I've just had my coffee. I am covered in bugs by head to toe. I still have a few pretty severe bites on the back of my leg, which are quite sore. So I was safariing and now I've got one sunburned shoulder because this arm was out the side. And this is pretty much what we've been doing all day because a five o'clock wake up call results in us being sleepy. But now we're going for a barbecue on camp. Staple dessert every day. Hot banana with vanilla ice cream. 8 a.m. with Lex blow drying his hair. We are still Barry. We're gonna have coffee now. We are then going to have some breakfast, pack up, and then we are traveling to the beach. But the safari was quite the experience at night. You can hear all the animals and all the birds because you're like it is still a tent, even though it's like a solid structure, it's still just a tent. So you can hear everything. And here's a doggy. There's dogs everywhere here. I'm gonna feed him now. We took food from last night. They're so timid. So around here are all strays, so they're all very timid. They don't really kind of beg or anything. They'll sit away from all the um, houses and stuff and where we eat. They don't really come up too close, so it's kind of nice to feed them because they're all quite scrawny. Because obviously they're not known ones, so they're kind of living off scraps and whatever they can find. So we are here in Tangali. We've been here for the past three days. We've got one more day left. We leave tomorrow to go to Colombo. And to be honest, I completely forgot to vlog because I've been having such an amazing time. This place is amazing. You can see my tan is delightful. And every morning we get up and this is our room. I'll give you a full room tour in a minute so you can see the bed there. Onto our veranda. And there's Alex and there's breakfast. As you can see, the sea is just there. So this is part of our breakfast every morning and pretty much standard across Sri Lanka. So we have some watermelon, this is some fresh passion fruit, some papaya, some pineapple and here we have some like salt and pepper and chilies and then some fresh watermelon juice. Obviously coffee and I've got my flavour drops. Yes, Sophie Aris, I have my flavour drops and then my Kindle for reading all that jazz phone and that view that view this salt and pepper they actually dip their pineapple into it and eat it i have tried the salt and pepper on my pineapple and i'm not opposed to it but i just prefer my pineapple but i almost forgot to show you my breakfast that's what it originally looked like so there's egg whites bacon tomato mushroom 
and this is what it currently looks like. Got the bacon and egg whites have already eaten the tomato and the mushrooms. And then Lex has got this granola and then that's, is that the buffalo curd Lex? Buffalo curd, macros, 200, 555. We got the syrups on the side because it's quite sweet and heavy. And then they give us a basket of bread, some marmalade, jam, uh, butter, and there is more coffee on the way. So we've actually been faffing about in our room for quite a while. And I'm just headed down to the beach now. I'm in my bikini, ready for some sunshine. And now I'm going to introduce you to my new little friend. Hi, come on. So this is Chance. Hi, Chance. Hi, you've had all your dinner already because we fed you. Yes. She is super friendly, our Chance. And we have some water here for her. And she, Chance, is a street dog. Her mum is here on the beach as well. We've been told by locals that she's one years old and that she was born here on the beach. She's in quite healthy shape. She's actually been neutered. We can see that she has like stitches on her tummy. They're just dissolving right now. And every day that we've been here, when we arrived, we made friends with an English couple called Tom and Sophie and they have been feeding Chance and now they're gone. So me and Lex have taken over feeding Chance and she gets like little ticks on her eyes. So we've been pulling off the ticks, leaving her water, leaving her food, just generally looking after her, but she's quite healthy. She doesn't appear to have any fleas and um, she's in quite, quite a healthy weight because there are some really emaciated dogs here on the beach. And to be honest, there's just hundreds of dogs. Everywhere you go, there's stray dogs. You can actually see Chance's mum as well and um, her mum is like she's so timid she's scared of humans because I think a lot of the staff in the villas along the beach they don't like the stray dogs so they'll chase them away and um, like throw things at them and they're quite aggressive with them whereas the um, tourists obviously feed them and are quite friendly and to be honest if you visit Sri Lanka and you see if you see a street dog just like take some time and um, a lot of them they're very friendly and they're just scared of humans so if you're friendly to them they, they're, they're not in any way violent or vicious or aggressive they're just so so timid and really really beautiful animals as you know i love animals and i love my two dogs and i'd love to be able to do something to help the dogs here so if anyone has any suggestions on um, ways for me and Lex to help the animals here and just maybe set up some kind of a fund, a GoFundMe or something for the animals here. At the night they sleep on the beach in the bushes and you know there's loads of insects and parasites here that are harmful to them as well it's just raising awareness with the actual people of Sri Lanka. If you live in Sri Lanka and you see a lot of the stray street dogs just be kind to them because they are beautiful gentle animals and they deserve to be treated nicely and have a nice life just like any other living creature so on that note i'm going to you can see chance's tail maybe or, yeah, there's chance so um i'm just gonna relax here with chance and um, we'll be giving him some treats and stuff he does have one of the locals as i said does have dog food to feed him feed her and feed her mum and any of the other stray dogs that come along the beach so they will be fed at least for the time being and um, looked after as much as they can. Spent the morning just sitting in the sun reading books with Chance obviously. It's a lady over there. I've named her Lady. This is Chance's mum. She's a bit more shy and we just went up the road, well up the beach to that little hut. They do the most amazing fish and salad and it's just like pineapple and cucumber and onions and things in the salad. And then I had like some roast chicken breast and then Lex had a piece of, I said barramundi, um, and he had that for lunch and it was just so tasty. So quite healthy, healthy breakfast, healthy lunch. And then for dinner, we'll probably get maybe a curry here at the, at the hotel. For dessert they do an espresso ice cream which has like a peanut brittle on top and it's just like two little pieces of ice cream with peanut brittle on top and that's what I indulge in in the evenings. A glass of wine and it's you only go on honeymoon once in your life so you have to enjoy it and let loose and it is very hard to track your food and there's no gyms here so 
it's been just Lex has been running up and down the beach and I've just been kind of taking an opportunity to take a little bit of break and enjoy myself we're gonna go bodyboarding out in the ocean now I'm not very good but it's fun Look Stripper have put together this entire honeymoon and this trip and they customised it completely to our needs and what we wanted because we didn't want to do loads and loads and loads of sightseeing we kind of had a small amount of time we only wanted to go away for about 10-11 days as opposed to a couple of weeks and we wanted to see as much as we could without getting kind of bored or wasting our time so I knew I wanted uh, the four nights at a beach at the end so they recommended this place and I would rate it very highly nice as it's our last night in the villa we decided to have a Sri Lankan curry here we have the meat so that's our chicken which is prepared in a slightly spicy you can kind of opt in or out of the spice but this one is probably hopefully a medium because we specified we like it medium and this is beetroot then we have dal we have pompadons watercress and some kind of light cheese then we have the sambole, which is coconut and chili salad, which is onions, tomatoes and cucumber, aubergine and the pineapple. I really like this one. Are you ready for your curry, Lex? And also I have a passion fruit daiquiri for the games. This is dessert. We have some espresso ice cream with peanut brittle and Lex is on some buffalo curd and then some treacle. Simple pleasure. Cause if I only had a hundred fans, I'd take them all to dinner, talk about the people that we used to be. If I had a hundred fans, fly them all to Paris, ain't nobody paying, I'd be buying the drinks. And we would cloudy and we would dance and we would throw up all them hands until they turn to cry. Short to be an asshole